Hello children and welcome to my channel Shada Educare and in this video we will be learning Pythagoras chapter from 10th standard and this is the continuation of the similarity and right angle triangle which was there in the previous video of 1 theorem 1. Now this is the second theorem. Let us begin with this. The theorem says in a right angled triangle, if you draw a perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse, this is a right angled triangle. And if I draw a right angle triangle, triangle A, B, C. In a right angle triangle, the perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse, AC is the hypotenuse children. And if I draw a perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse from the opposite vertex to from the, uh, to the hypotenuse, the vertex opposite is B. This is the vertex children, which is opposite to AC. And this vertex will be geometric mean, geometric mean of the segment means let me take this point D means BD square is equal to geometric mean of the segment into which the hypotenuse is divided. Hypotenuse is divided into AD. AD and DC. So, geometric mean means BD square is equal to AD into DC. AD into DC. This is very easy to prove children. Now, before this in video 1 you have learned theorem of uh, right angle triangle and similarity. Similarity in right angle triangle means when you drew a perpendicular line from the vertex to the hypotenuse, the triangle thus formed were similar to one another and also are similar to the original triangle. We have done this in the one video number one. Now that concept we will be using it here. I have told you children that you must not forget to write the consequence. This is the sequence you will be taking from inside A, D, C, A, D, B, from B to D, then to C and we can write here. Directly I will start the solution C. In triangle. ABC is similar to ABC is similar to what ADC ADB triangle ADB which is similar to triangle BDC and why theorem of similarity in right angled triangle we can write here theorem of similarity in right angled triangle ok means triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB is similar to triangle BDC. Now we will be taking only this sequence okay triangle why we will be taking adb and bdc because we want to prove bd square and bd is here and ad 
AD is in small triangle. Okay. And DC, DC is also in small triangle. Clear? So therefore, we will be taking this, not ABC. Because BD is there. BD is what? Here. AD is where? Here. In this small triangle. DC is where? In this small triangle. And that is the reason we will be taking this two triangle. Clear? Second point. Triangle ADB. Similar to triangle BDC. From one. Now I will take corresponding sides. AD upon BD, AD upon BD is equal to DB upon DC, DB upon DC is equal to AB upon BC. A, B upon B, C and reason is corresponding sides of similar triangle. Now what we want? B, D square we want. Am I getting B, D here? B, D is here, B, D is here and A, D and D, C. So will I not take this? I will take this ratio. Okay. I am going to take this ratio. What I will get? A, D upon B, D is equal to db upon dc if i cross multiply them what i'll get ad into dc children ad into dc is equal to c ad into dc bd into bd is BD square. See BD and DB is nothing but BD only. So BD into BD is BD square. Hence proved. So we got. So we wanted to prove AD into DC is equal to BD square. Hence proof children. Let us move for the second one. This theorem is known as before moving to the second third one. This theorem is known as geometric mean theorem. BD square is equal to AD into DC. Thank you children for watching my videos. Share my video, like my videos and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed.